I was born in Derby and uh, grew up to love drawing from a very early age. Always good at art at school and the obvious place to go was art college. I went on from there to uh, Dip AD at Portsmouth Fine Art Department um, and then a bit later on I pursued a trade in woodwork uh, which followed on to working in uh, scenery in the theatre and film and a bit later on uh, furniture I had to go being a furniture maker and then I finally ended up in the teaching profession teaching design and technology and also some art after I retired from the teaching profession I continued painting which I'd already embarked upon during my time as a teacher and made it my full-time pursuit I've had some success exhibiting in and around Sheffield when did you realize you wanted to be an artist. As soon as I received praise is a simple answer, um, I realised that people liked what I did and thought that I was good at it. And this seemed to uh, bring uh, me some success. Art college was the obvious choice when it came time to choose. Uh, they seemed to be having a lot of fun there and I certainly wanted to be a part of that. What mediums do you work with? I mostly work with acrylic on canvas, but also increasingly I use oil paint on some sort of board. Um, I'm also uh, working with charcoal, pastels, inks and watercolour. I also do a certain amount of print work, particularly lino prints. What medium have you never worked with and would like to try? I'd like to have a go with some spray paint and also something called tempura for doing frescoes in the old style. And I'd like to do more with film media. Is there anyone who really inspired you to begin creating art? Uh, the answer to that is my mother, I suppose, initially. Um, always gave me plenty of encouragement, always provided me with paper and pencil, some means of expressing myself. Um, and then later on, some good art teachers, both in secondary and then later at art college. Latterly, I have had some tutelage from um, a successful local artist, uh, his name is Kristen Bagley. Set me on my current um, course, I, I suppose. Uh, that is to say, working with some seriousness towards exhibiting, selling, and generally making my death public. Can you describe a real life situation that inspired you? I suppose my one example of a real life situation relates to my moving into a new studio. Whenever I do go to a new workplace or, or anywhere different really, my first instinct is to climb up on the roof. And this was no exception. So I, I like to get up there and see where I am geographically and have a look at the views. And it turned out on this occasion, the views were absolutely excellent and chimed very nicely with the sort of scenes which I've looked and depict. On this particular occasion, it was a, with an organisation called Kellam Island Artists Collective, and the views around were of that neighbourhood. And those places, those post-industrial landscapes, frequently appear in my paintings. What is your dream project? My dream project would be to have an acclaimed show in a prestigious venue, maybe uh, Tate Modern in London or in New York, maybe MoMA, and just to, to be a success in the art world, I suppose. 
What's the most inspirational place you've ever visited and why? My first instinct would be to say Venice, which is where we spent our honeymoon, my wife and I. I have to say that I was totally blown away, particularly emotionally. I will never forget uh, walking around the corner to really find myself in St Mark's Square and feeling uh, absolutely overwhelmed by a, a, a wave of historical excellence um, that left me, I guess, more or less speechless. But actually beyond that, my other great inspiration would be New York, New York City, where my daughter has recently lived for a few years. It's such an exciting place. I just love it and the few times I've been there, just couldn't get enough of it. I'd love to be able to stay there for an extended time, produce work related. I've done a few New York scenes and things inspired by those famous skylines. But yeah, New York. What's the best piece of creative advice you've been given? I guess I would say to be yourself follow your own instincts and to work hard at it. The old saying that it's all about 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration it probably holds true. If you could give one piece of advice to anyone wanting to start pursuing either career or art hobby, what would it be? I'd have to say it's figurative stuff that you want to do. You need to spend a lot of time just looking and practice sketching as much as possible. And I'd say, to some extent, the same for abstract, except maybe more looking inwardly and about following your instincts more closely. Less is more, I would say. Finally, your favourite piece of work created by someone else? I would say it's, that's a hard choice, but one of my standout favourites is something called Portrait of a Man in a Red Turban by an artist called Jan van Eyck, which he painted in 1433. It's amazing. I love it.